Hi, I'm Debbie Peverell, and you're listening to the weekly tip from Payless Financial Training Group. Today, I'm talking about filing returns even when there is no activity. What we're seeing in our practice lately is that Canada Revenue Agency has certainly improved their data analytics. They have gone back and asked a number of people to file returns for corporations that haven't had any activity for six or seven years. We're also seeing the same thing with trust returns. Trust returns for trusts that haven't been being used, but CRA is looking for those returns to be filed. So a couple of things there. Um, if there is no activity, that doesn't mean you shouldn't file a return. Typically, penalties are calculated based on the amount that's owed, but they don't have to do it that way. They could consider it an information return and, and levy a penalty. So it's a good idea to file returns every year no matter what. The second issue is about corporations that have stopped doing business. Often the advice is to continue to file no returns for a period of time, to stop paying your annual dues so that at some point the joint stock um, organization in your province strikes the corporation from the record. However, I've been talking to CRA and they don't take the being struck from the record as being the same as having the company dissolved. So their view is that until there's been a wind up and a certificate of surrender has been issued for that corporation, that the corporation should still be filing tax returns and they're still going to continue sending you notices to file tax returns. So obviously this is a legal issue. You should talk to your own lawyer if you're wrapping up your corporation to decide how long you should file returns and whether you're going to go ahead and actually wind up the corporation rather than just letting it go away. But I'm here to tell you that CRA is on top of these things lately and they're saying that you're going to have to file a return until you've actually put that corporation to death.